Hello Pisces and welcome to Soul Sundays. Pisces, it's a quick three card spread, one for your mind, body and soul for your week ahead. So let's get started. Universe and angels, messages and guides, my higher self, I call upon you now to give me clear and accurate reading for the sign of Pisces. Please tell me what they need to hear, not what they want to hear for their week ahead. Can I please have three cards, one for mind, body and soul. All right, so you've drawn the uh, Knight of Angels or the Knight of Swords for your mindset this week, the Watcher, the Observer. It's really beautiful energy this week. We have uh, <laughs> the new moon in the sign of Sagittarius, okay? It's all about love. We have Venus conjunct Jupiter. We have Mercury finally going direct. We also have Neptune going direct for the first time uh, in five months. Uh, in the sign of Capricorn and we have Jupiter leaving the sign of Sagittarius and moving into Capricorn next week so massive energy and change in the skies but how does it affect you well as I said this new moon's all about relationships looking at your relationships your intimate relationships your friendships your relationships with people that help you when it comes to work um, and for you, it's really important to remember that you're the creator of those relationships, okay? You're the one, when you put the time and effort in, that's when you'll reap the rewards. The card of the Knight of Angels, or the Watcher, as it's described in this deck, is um, really quite spiritual and symbolic. The Ace of Swords in traditional tarot speaks about, sorry, not the Ace, the Knight of Swords in traditional tarot speaks about like a really fast moving energy, right? Swiftness. In this book, it's described as... Um, skill bravery right and it says you can determine much of what you would and wouldn't like through observation watch learn and direct your energy accordingly the knight of angels is a hallmark for sudden change or chaos hold on to your halo because things are about to get exciting this transformation will shift anything that is holding you away from the fullness of love it may arrive as a whirlwind romance or a friendship someone may sweep you off your feet but leave you just as suddenly don't take their departure personally, however. They arrive to help you reopen your heart. Don't close down. Keep living life with an open, loving heart and watch what comes to you. Be ready for creative ideas or thoughts to sweep through you. So if you're in a relationship, it could just be that someone sparks that joy and excitement in you again when it comes to the workplace, when it comes to friendships. But for a lot of you, I think it's all about opening your heart chakra up to receiving love again, okay? Because your mindset, your body, your mindset's all about being open to love. Your body message for this week is about looking at your intimate relationships and being open to love. And then the spiritual message and soul message that you have for this week is about being the alchemist of all of the love and the energy that's in your space. And I'm going to read this to you verbatim just so you can see how much it's all about love for you this week. It's pretty crazy. It is up to you to acknowledge an obstacle as an impertinent. Uh, regardless of who is to blame, it is your responsibility to defy a false limitation. Life is perpetual movement and yet life is also still. Life is change and yet life is also unchanging. You are part of this moving stillness, changing and unchanging through time and eternity. Something is moving within is still part of you and yet something is still moving within the moving part of you. Meditate this, meditate on this, feel the complete oneness in your being and understand that all there is is love. Because the truth is, that's all there is, right? And when you sit back and observe it, regardless of your religion, regardless of your upbringing or your background, when you give love, you get love back, okay? If you're in a relationship that requires a revamp, then this is the week where you're going to look at that and have some open, honest communication about what needs to change. If you've been single for quite some time, then this is the week where you step back and have an honest reflection about your intimate relationships and how you can open yourself up to more love and allow more love to flow. Remember, you are the alchemist. You are in control. You are in control of your destiny and whether you choose love versus fear. Mm, just a small little spiritual week for you. <laughs> All right, my turtle doves, it was a pleasure doing this reading for you. I wish you much love and light. If this resonated, please write in the comments. I do read them. Otherwise, I'll be back with you next week. Take care.